joins me live from Sri Hari Kota, where all of the action will be come Saturday at 11.50 a.m. is when the launch is scheduled to happen. Ramud, good evening. You're one of the lucky few who has, in fact, that nod to go into ISRO, catch all of the action. What's the mood on ground currently, Pramod? Everyone set for that mega launch on Saturday? Well, definitely the mood is quite charged, just like how we could see the climate over here. And ISRO is prepared for any kind of uh, uh, weather here. And uh, uh, PSLV C57 carrying Aditya L1 is already on uh, the second launch pad. And everybody from now on, they'll be very uh, seriously looking into what should be done. There will be several committees that will be giving permission post which it will be launched on 2nd of September. So what's, uh, uh, you know, Pramod, if you compare uh, the Chandrayaan-3 mission and this one, what was the hardest part of Chandrayaan-3 it was a soft landing on the moon? In this particular mission, what's the hardest part that scientists are looking at really as a challenge? Well, this is definitely going to be quite challenging because the prep, uh, the uh, creation of this particular Aditya L1 satellite itself is like very important because this is a space observatory satellite, which means there should be not much dust at all. In fact, it was reduced to like several count. There's something called as nitrogen purging. That technique mm. was used. And even after that, while the satellite is being moved from the construction point to the rocket, that area was also clearly maintained. So all these things have been done. And the second and most important aspect is that after the launch, this satellite, Aditya L1, is going to travel 1.5 million kilometers and it's going to go around an yeah. imaginary point called as Lagrange 1. This is an imaginary point around which there is a kind of balance between the gravitation force of the sun and the earth. And this satellite will be placed around this imaginary point where it will go in an ALO orbit. So this is extremely challenging because earlier, whatever satellites that were launched, they will orbit around a planetary object, be it the moon or any planet. But this time it's entirely different. Mm -hmm. You know, you're pointing out how we're going to be reaching 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. That's the L1, the Lagrange point that's been identified as the point where the satellite will go on a halo orbit. It's going to take four months for us to reach there. But Pramod, what's the most important takeaway that ISRO really hopes to get from studying the sun in this manner? Well, the main aspect of Aditya L1 is that after we have conquered scientifically, the moon is to actually research and find data about how the, the sun's surface is acting because there is something called a solar flare and there are various things that we still need to know about the, the, uh, how a star behaves. And the closest one and the most important one is the sun we have. It's almost 4.5 billion years old and there are chances that in the future it could become a red giant. So all these things will be studied by Aditya L1.